Okay. But, you, but you can say something about the question which you really would wish to know the answer to. And, I mean, for, for me it would be, what, what's consciousness? Oh, because yeah. because that's, that's totally baffling. Not, Richie, you know what I think? I agree. Not that you asked, but what I think on this is uh, consciousness has kind of baffled us for a while, okay? And evidence that we haven't a clue about what consciousness is, is drawn from the, in, from the fact of how many books are published on the topic, right? We're not really continuing to publish books, not really, on like Newtonian physics. It's done, all right? So, so the fact that people keep publishing books on consciousness is the evidence we don't know anything about it, because if we knew all about it, you wouldn't have to keep publishing. <laughs> so, so, what I wonder, what I wonder, Richard, is whether there really is no such thing as consciousness at all, and that there's some other understanding of the functioning of the human brain that renders that question obsolete. To that, I've got to say, like, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I'm laughing like you're like rolling the aisles laughing. What is so funny about that? Of course, that last voice was Bill Nye, the science guy who was up there with him too. What's he was astonished. Bill was astonished. <laughs> it doesn't take much. I mean, the idea that maybe consciousness is not there is probably the weirdest, stupidest idea ever conceived by human thought. I mean, where does thought take place? It takes place in consciousness. So here we have consciousness uh, uh, speculating about the possibility that consciousness does not exist and it may not be there. I mean, the very thought is, is an in-your-face contradiction. And the fact that something like this is not only seriously entertained, but even verbalized by a person with the public exposure of the gentleman we just saw is, is uh, uh, a worrying sign of cultural sickness, uh, a very serious one. You know, the other thing that got me, and I hope you just comment on, because you are a philosopher and an expert in logic, and you've, you've, your books, you do a wonderful job of deconstructing this silliness down to a level that is extremely comprehensive and well thought out. But I love just a kind of a, 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 a book thing I thought was just stunning, you know? I mean, what kind of logic is that? They're not writing any books about physics? They're not writing, and he's saying Newtonian physics. I mean, I think, first of all, books, you mean papers, don't you? You mean peer-reviewed published papers. And aren't they doing a lot of work on gravity and, you know, issues in physics that are central to well, it? It's just preposterous at, at so many <laughs> levels. And it just... <laughs> It just, again, it's just really, really funny. Well, to his credit, he did say the, the, the laws, uh, the Newtonian laws, so classical Newtonian yeah, but, physics. But, but given, that, given that, I mean, this is, I guess, kind of interesting in that we build on these laws, right? So no one has said that the laws of Newtonian physics are, quote unquote, wrong. They're just incomplete. They just describe a certain aspect of what we observe. And the same could be said for this insistence that consciousness is physical, biological, a brain-based. All those things are not wrong per se. They're just incomplete in terms of our understanding of consciousness. If consciousness is, as we'll talk about, somehow fundamental, then everything gets turned on its head. But that doesn't mean that there aren't some neural correlates to consciousness and brain function. So yeah. that's where I think it's, it's just... It just shows a, a deep misunderstanding, I guess would be generous, or uh, of, of what they're really talking about when he talks about consciousness. I think, I think what motivates even the question, because you see how they, how they formulated the question, how Richard Dawkins formulated the question. Uh, he, he, he said, what is consciousness? And right. what, what they're trying to get at is a reduction. What they're trying to answer, the form of the answer they are looking for is consciousness is just this, this, and that operating in this, that way uh, under this and that condition. Uh, 
In other words, they're trying to explain consciousness in terms of something else, in terms of something that isn't consciousness. That would be the answer to the question, what is consciousness? Um, and, and that is indeed a baffling question because you see, who is trying to answer? It is consciousness that is trying to answer. So you, you get a self-reference there that makes the question indeed very baffling if you're framing it that way, if you're trying to reduce consciousness. And, and that's where it goes wrong. Nobody, well, very few people have stopped to think that maybe we shouldn't formulate the question that way. Maybe what we have to ask is, how can we explain everything else in terms of consciousness, which is the given of reality. It's the, the basis of knowledge. It's that within which we know and inquire.